Welcome back. You're listening to Home Wizards. I'm Cindy Dole. Hey, I'm Eric Stromer. And those are angels. They sure are. They're angels in our studio. The good time carolers. The good time we carolers. Um, they're all dressed in the uh, Victorian garb, and they look beautiful, and they have these big smiles on their faces, and it feels like you're at Disneyland. Because, well, they sing at Disneyland. Sure they do. So it's just so fun to have them in our studio. So hope you're enjoying it as well as we bring in the spirit of Christmas and get ready. And, you know, you have a lot of these pine cones, I know, in, uh, in your... How many pine trees do you have? I, I have there? probably about 10, and they're huge, huge pine trees. And, and they drop these things that are literally the size of basketballs. They really are. And, and the actual, like... Little nibbles. I don't know what you call the nibbles on the sides of the pine cone, but they are bigger than your thumb. I mean, they they're are. just because some pine cones they're almost kind of uh, very fragile and thin. Sure. These are hefty. These guys. are huge. I think they're like Jurassic Park. Pine they cones. really are. Yeah. So I've got an idea for you. Okay. With your pine cones, all you need are some red tulips, and this is going to be a great DIY Christmas. Uh, Centerpiece. You were saying that you know Dusty spray painted right. them gold. That's that right. right. Yeah, you spray okay. paint them gold. You could spray paint them gold, but then you could also just keep it natural either way. And then you, what you would do is you could get red tulips or even amaryllis, and you put that in the center, and it looks just gorgeous. In fact, you could secure this in a nice um, shallow white bowl. Okay, so then, then you use those almost like floral foam. Yes. To plug the stems into the cone. Yes. Oh, that's pretty. And then in the at the base of the uh, of this bowl, you get again some red cranberries, and then you could even put some water in there, and then little votives so they're floating. And now you've got a really pretty, beautiful centerpiece. In fact, you can use a pineapple if you didn't have the pine cones. Oh, that's cones. that's a nice idea. Uh huh. You know, I was in New York a couple of weeks ago. You know that they recreated the a uh, 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 cranberry bog at Thirty Rock Center. What? Yeah, they they had like a it was like twenty feet by sixty feet water about uh, oh my. three and a half feet tall and wow. then they filled it with cranberries. I think it was the um, the cranberry company oh, uh-huh. that did uh-huh. a promotion uh-huh. there for the Today Show. But oh. it's amazing. And then people were in waders like walking around oh, through the cranberry bog. Yeah. Did you get in there? I didn't. I oh. just scooped up a handful and then pelted oh. some of the folks on the Today Show with <laughs> you them. You didn't. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> now, if you have some Christmas ornaments that are just, um, I have a bunch of extra Christmas ornament balls that may not work on the tree, or they may, but I, I'm into, again, again, with the hurricane vase, especially if you have bright, you know, like magenta balls or blue and green, different shades of the the, the classic glass ball sure. ornaments, right? You can display them on a long plate with maybe some pine cones and leaves, maybe even pine needles, and then that becomes a great centerpiece. Or just put them in a hurricane vase and just stack them multicolored, you know? I, I think this really is the season of, of centerpieces, isn't it? I mean, from Thanksgiving through the, the New Year, it's really an opportunity to pull out some of the stuff that you keep in the cabinet and you, you reserve for the special time, and this is one of them, I and, think. And the key is to mix some things that are from nature with things that are store-bought. That's the I key. agree. That's I the think, secret. That's always the creative element, That's too. all you do. I mean, yeah. so you use something something borrowed, something blue, something store-bought, something fresh, right. whether it's the pine cone, and then, you know, it is the the Christmas uh, ornament that you have that was maybe a hand-me-down or something like that, sure. right? Yeah. Um, Christmas in all white and, and glass is also really cool-looking, Really, pardon the pun. It is elegant. It's almost like a snow Christmas, like the snow fairy. So don't just think about red and green. Be thinking about other colors, maybe as simple as all white for your table or even for your mantle, you know, with little glass votives, glass mm-hmm. hurricane vase, and all white ornaments. Same thing like for your tree. It, you know, a lot of the designers go with one color sometimes. Yeah, I like that monochromatic look. It's beautiful. Mm-hmm. And I'll tell you what, what happened for me, though, kind of clearing out some of the old storage and bringing in the you know, new stuff is I went out and I got containers and boxes now before oh, Christmas is over. Great. So for that I have places to, to put the ornaments back because that's my problem. You know, I uh-huh. get stuff in the, crammed in the corner of these storage spaces. Right. And then they break and they're not, you know, they're not preserved like they should be. So, so what did now's you get? the time. Did you get they like sell, the individual? They, yeah, they sell these boxes at uh-huh. some of the, you know, container type sure. stores. Uh-huh. And they have partitions in them the size of ornaments Perfect. that you can actually 
just place inside the box with a, a quality lid on it, nice. and then they're stackable and they don't you know decompose over time. Uh-huh. Uh, I think it makes a huge difference because if you don't have order, you don't know what you have, and then as you're pulling stuff out, it falls and breaks. And oh, that's I where just you're getting I just trouble. broke two of them the other day. I know because they are so fragile. You yeah, know? and they're so beautiful, and mm-hmm. they deserve to be kept like a like fine art and not mm-hmm. just thrown in the corner. You know, so I think it's important to do it now. Good idea. Yeah. Because especially if if you're getting you know organized, not only to take them out, you're thinking like you say to put them back away. That's great. You can right. downsize as you go. That's it. Um, think about another great centerpiece. It's almost like a blooming tree holiday centerpiece. Uh, you create a, a, a trunk effect, basically, by wrapping a clear glass vase with bark chips. And and then at the base of the trunk, you can add some moss and some nuts and berries, and it basically mimics a little forest. And then because you're using a vase, inside it, you can put any kind of red That's flower. really pretty. Yeah. With a little moss. That's a, a great moss. idea. And Almost looks like the Hobbit land. It does. And so you would get some of this bark. I mean, you could find it to go on a nature walk, right? Or maybe you can find some of it um, probably from a, you know the Arts and Crafts Michaels. You can kind of always thing. borrow some lemons from the neighbor. I'm not saying I do that, but you can. <laughs> well, you if they're have growing your... over on your fence, actually. You can <laughs> it's, it's trim your, it. It's, 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 le- it's legal. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of like military zone. It. It's your zone. <laughs> but you say you have a lot. You have a great orange tree. I do have a great orange tree, but, you know, sometimes I need the lemon for need the, the shrimp. Lemon. Oh, for the you shrimp. Know. <laughs> for the salmon. Yeah. And for the water. That's and, it. And, and that looks great also with sure Christmas. Does. Lemons Beautiful. and oranges. Yeah. If you have a cake stand display, those are also just so universal. It's kind of like the hurricane vase because now whatever holiday is coming up, you can stack things up, whether it's sure. food or decorative things. Yeah, it features it. It's like a display case. Yeah. It looks great. So you can yeah, get... Like a, uh, I do have one of those glass cake holders with a little lid on it, right? Okay. Why don't I use that? I put some Christmas lights in that. Put the cover on. Oh, my goodness, I'm learning. You're done. You're ready. <laughs> You're this learning. is amazing. <laughs> You're not learning. Yeah, yeah. You already did it. Well, you know it. I may have it. done it. But you... <laughs> <laughs> The but, Christmas carolers nodded, said, yes, yeah, you are yeah, learning. Yeah, that, good, good job. <laughs> but, I mean, you, you, I think they look great, the, those uh, cake stands that are in white porcelain. Yeah, those are beautiful. You know, and you can yeah. find those inexpensively at, uh, you know, some of the different, you know, Pier 1 kind sure. of stores or yeah. whatever, or, or even uh, less expensive than that. And it's stack them up. I love how you get, like, two or three or even six tiers and then put, like, nuts and cranberries yeah, and different things. The nuts know? are beautiful when they're when they're lit, too, especially, man. It just it just has a, a beautiful feel to it, doesn't it? Yeah, totally does. Yeah. Now, when you're thinking of Christmas, you can't forget the front porch. I mean, it's not just about the inside, but it's the outside as well, right? And uh, as you are welcoming you and your family and friends to come over for the holidays, I mean, you got to get that staged right so that it looks... Like the season is here. I got to tell you, though, I'm overwhelmed because people in my neighborhood have really started, I think, to hire the people to come and, and decorate the houses. And so it's, it's getting and competitive. It's, it's, compe- it's very much like uh, National Lampoon Christmas, uh-huh. you know, where the guy down the street has the, you know, the lighting generator going in really? addition to his own power. And it's it's it literally keeps you up at night. It's so light. Wow. So you know what I did? I I just went the other way. I put little reindeer out. Minimal. Just tiny little reindeer made Very of wood subtle. things. Very tiny. I think that that I think that speaks volumes. That's, that's what I do. So you can dress up your outdoor <laughs> space, <laughs> you know, by just getting some tree cuttings, you know, and maybe again some. You can make little cranberries. Put the kids to work and have them cut out of you know construction paper, snowflakes, or what looks like berries, and then just hang that up on either side of the door. And then you can even get a string of artificial cranberries and put them around. Like let's say if you had two uh, topiaries, you can mm-hmm. have these two topiaries with the cranberry strings, mm. and then have the swag of of pine over the across the top of the door. This is great. Yeah. Now you can at, at the Christmas tree lots, you know, they'll sell you these little extra branches to give you the ability to create the wreaths if you want. Yeah, you know? and I think it's a good idea. I think it is a good idea. And so when you get speaking of wreath, I mean, you could very easily and inexpensively um, use some of those Christmas tree branches, and then just kind of wrap around and make almost like a frame. It's a different kind of a wreath. Instead yeah, of being pretty. a circle, it's a square. Yeah, just use an old frame. I have several of them in my house. Come get them, please. Take okay, them. Okay. Okay. You could you could basically just you know you could attach them to a frame. How, right. Like what? what, what you can like use bailing wire. wire yeah, okay. that'd be fine. Florist wire, that kind That's of a right. thing. Yeah. So we'll put all this on the website because again we have more ideas to share with you to help you welcome in the holidays. And as we uh, get our way into the next segment, let's listen one more time to the good time carolers.